Open science is about making research available to everyone and transparently reporting how studies were planned and conducted. Removing barriers to research findings can foster innovation and discovery, and it lets everyone benefit from new knowledge. Open science involves a set of actions that researchers can take during the research process to ensure their work is transparent and accessible. One step researchers can take before starting a study is to post their study plan or protocol online. This process is called study registration. Study registration tells other researchers which studies are already happening and it helps avoid duplicating efforts. Once a study is complete, the study registration can be compared to the reported results. Study registration helps us to know if changes were made, and if they were, we can ask questions about why this was done. We can also see if the changes have affected the study in a way that might create an inappropriate influence on the data. This is what we call bias. Bias in research studies can decrease the quality of evidence on a topic. As a study progresses, there are other opportunities to practice open science. Researchers can share their data and their materials, and they can publish their findings rapidly through use of preprint servers. They can also publish in open access journals, where researchers and any reader doesn't have to pay to access the article. Unfortunately, right now, open science is the exception, not the rule. In the Center for Journalology at the Ottawa Hospital, we are busy finding ways to shift the culture of research to open science. We train and support researchers on how to make their work truly open. Not only does open science foster innovation and discovery, but it allows researchers and the public to access research information. By practicing open science principles, we can ultimately improve health and healthcare by getting research into the hands of those who benefit from it most. Other researchers studying healthcare topics and the patients and their healthcare providers.